They decided the three-hour drive to Kirio Bay to swim with dolphins was the best idea they've ever had. They thought 5 a.m. would be the best time to go, as 9 a.m. would be too late. It was a brisk, cold morning, much colder than what they were used to in the past. The German girl grabbed her dolphin stones and began touching them together to signal the dolphins. He remembered thinking the key to swimming with dolphins are a German girl and dolphin stones. Their tent site was 016. Flax surrounded their tents to shield from the occasional strong winds. On the ground was four sleeping bags, three mattresses, two coolers filled with food and drinks, an air pump, handbags, and too much random other shit. The German girl made her organic coffee because she thought everyone else's coffee was horrible. The boy decided to tell her a story about this evil South African boy that wouldn't leave this German girl alone. Then one day, as the evil South African boy was at a cliff, the German girl snuck up behind and pushed him off. Really? <laughs> I was in the morning. Where yeah, are you from? From Germany. Yeah, me too. <laughs> oh, you just love the Germans. I do. Because I love you too. <laughs> oh my god. Your turn. Your I just turn. fucking put his tent up. His first day there was one he'd never forget. After starting the day swimming with dolphins, he thought after lunch to walk down to the sandy beach and relax. Then they would fry up some vegan burgers next to the ocean with some New Zealand red wine. Finally, they would walk up the grass hill to watch the bright sun roll over the horizon. He filmed everything with his camera so that he could remember it all later. If he didn't have a camera, he would have tried to remember it as best he could, but probably would have forgot most. He thought he would walk toward the ocean and hope the others would follow. Turning. The trick is to turn. Yeah, that you, is the trick. That is the trick. Ah, oh, that's you're cheating. <laughs> Shit, Ryan's leading you, Joe. Come, come, come on, Ryan. Come on, Ryan. Yeah, Ryan, Team Ryan. <laughs> come on, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, He learned that Guten Morgen is German for good morning, but he doesn't know any other German words, so he says Guten Morgen when referring to anything. He quickly realized that he was the only guy of the four people and had to be the one that grills the burgers. Luckily there were vegan burgers because you can't fuck up cooking a vegan burger like you can a regular burger, he thought. After dinner, the South African girl took everyone down to the water to show them how to proper wash their dishes. Make sure you hang up the, the wake up, you know. Hang them over the chair or something. Good okay. job, I'm proud of you, man. It's great work. I think that actually means a lot to me too. Joe, I'm really proud of you. What'd you say? Joe, I'm so proud of you. 
Please, just take so care. Proud. Please take care. Yeah, Joe, this say, is amazing say, what you're well. doing. I can't believe it. Bring this out, please. Spray. Spray. <laughs> <laughs> As he set up the camera to film himself watching the sun go down, he thought that he wouldn't want to share this experience with anyone but the boy, the German girl, and the South African girl. After long hours of working odd jobs back in Queenstown, they all really needed this experience together. They began to pass the New Zealand red wine bottle around until the greedy little boy decided to chug the rest of it leaving only a small drop left for the others. The boy needed it more than the others. <laughs> Good night, Kyla. Good night. <laughs> After nine hours of darkness, the sky began to light up with a pink and purple hue, and the light that touched the ocean began to dance. They all knew they had to get up to see the sun rise, otherwise they would face shame from one another because they had slept in. Around 11 a.m. it began to rain and it would continue to rain for the rest of the day. Without knowing that, they decided to wait it out in the Curioscope restaurant playing an Australian drug dealing card game called Grass. Nobody won because they didn't really care. Wow. <laughs> Did you see that card? And now he's got to go through and look at him all again. <laughs> Is this your call? Yeah. You didn't get me. Did not. You did not. Yes, I did. Nice, very nice. They decided to leave Curio Bay and drive to Slope Point, which is the southernmost part of the South Island of New Zealand. They walked through the farmer's private land, gazing off into the distance, hoping to see Antarctica but it never showed up. Once they realize that this is probably the closest they will ever come to Antarctica, they forgot and instead saw a bunch of sheep and decided to run over and try to communicate through Chewbacca's language. The sheep didn't understand. Landed in some in some tall grass okay. and just got tangled in the rotors. So, if you want to learn about the creation of this video, you want to see behind the scenes, and you want to support the creator in reaching his dream of becoming a full-time filmmaker, be sure to check out his Patreon community. At the cost of only a coffee a month, you will help bring his dream to a reality: the dream of making content full-time for his loyal community. Also, be sure to send him love in the comments and subscribe to PewDiePie if you're not already. This short film was narrated by the up-and-coming vocalist Ryan Purvis. Inspiration from Yorgos Lanthimos. Music by Beethoven. Did you guys have a fun adventure? You took a shit in the woods. Yeah, three times this day. You took three shits? No.